welcome with your hot cup of tea or coffee. Ours is so hot that we do need time to let it cool down. And maybe that's the case for some of you who are with us, which I think is a great time to just get present in our space and in our bodies. Mindfulness is a great practice to have at any time, but I feel like especially in these times of the COVID pandemic and our minds can easily swirl to the future or to the past of what a hard year it has been. And just giving our whole system a break from that fast track of worrying or thinking or questioning um, can be a much needed respite for our spirits. So a great way to do that is really just to dive into our five senses and use those to help calm our system. So right now, just with the breath in and out, tune into what you feel, maybe the chair or cushion that you're sitting on, or if you're standing, how does the floor or earth feel under your feet? Make sure you're comfortable. If you're holding your cup of tea or coffee, maybe you feel its warmth. If it's too hot, just let it cool down a little bit. Mm. Can you smell the aroma of mm -hmm. your drink? Take in that smell. Mm -hmm. I invite you to think of the plant that helped create this drink, whether it's coffee or tea or a blend of teas. Maybe you know what that plant looks like. Maybe it's from your very own garden in the summer, like a mint. Maybe it's a type of tea like mine, like rooibos or red bush that you've never seen that grows in a different part of the world. It might be something you might wanna look up is what does that plant look like that makes up your favorite tea? And where in the world does it grow? But whatever type of tea or coffee it is, we know that it grew somewhere rooted in soil, nourished by sunshine and air, rain, part of the interconnected web of life like all of us if we are the two leggeds i like to think of plants as the rooted ones take a breath in and on the exhale send a little prayer of gratitude to the rooted ones that were part of making this cup for you Perhaps that plant is still growing. Perhaps in this moment, wherever it is in the world, the sunshine is kissing it. Its roots are sucking up moisture. We can wish it well in its growth journey as we all circle around the sun. Now I invite you to think of the hands that have tended this plant, the human hands that perhaps planted it or weeded it as it grew. Perhaps these people gave it water when it was thirsty. And at some point it was time for the harvest. When I was in Peru, I visited a group of women harvesting tea from a hillside. It was all women of all ages. And they talked and laughed during their break times. 
They used the money from the tea harvest to help pay for the uniforms and school books for their children and grandchildren. I wonder if they, those who harvest the tea, think of us. And I wonder if they imagine us thinking of them. Take an inhale and on the exhale, send a prayer of gratitude to whatever hands, even if they're your own, that harvested this tea or coffee that you are drinking and wish them well in this day as they too circle around the sun. Mm. You can imagine if your tea or coffee came from far away, that after the harvest, hands carefully dried it, packaged it, somehow it made its way to your home. You chose it this morning. When you make a cup of tea, you can be thinking in the present moment of the sound the water makes as it boils. Maybe it rattles the tea kettle. The steam as you pour it into your mug. And while we're doing this, we might have thoughts of the next part of our day or some decisions we have to make. And that's okay. Just let them come and then let them go. The point is to stay grounded in your senses, your five senses, just in this gift of the present moment. Does the temperature of your tree, your tea, changed at all in the last few minutes? <laughs> Ours is still pretty hot, but I'm going to bring it up closer to smell. Mm. Take in the warmth. Perhaps your mug is a special mug with memories, feel the texture of your mug, smoothness or bumps that it has. Maybe there's a crack or a chip in it. Now, I'll invite us to just sit and quiet with our, with our tea for 10 minutes or so. We'll ring the meditation bell to begin our 10 minutes and also to end it. And again, I invite you to just be present with your senses and your breath and if your mind has elements of the coming day or other things on your mind, just notice them, but let them go. And you can tell those thoughts that you will tend to them later. Welcome back. Take, take a 
take a moment to look around if you had your eyes closed. Make sure you're still taking some good deep breaths. And if you haven't yet, take a sip of your tea or coffee. Maybe you have been, or maybe it's still too hot. With having a cup of mindful tea, you want to not just take gulps, but sips, where you really can notice it going down, going down your throat after it, spend some time tickling your tongue. And maybe there's a moment when it goes from being separate to you to being part of you. And think with gratitude for all that your body will do with this nourishment, this liquid the good that you can bring to the world in this day. The nutrients from that plant, from the soil, going into your body, helping give you good health as we face the day. Sometimes bringing mindfulness to a specific task like this can be less daunting than just sitting and doing a free sort of meditation. If you have an actual task to focus in on, that can be helpful if you're in a space where there's just sort of too much to think of just sitting with your breath. But to sit with a hot cup of tea and use that as a focus point for your senses. And um, I thought in, in a moment, I'd love to hear any of your thoughts, but I know that some of you will, will need to go in a few moments. So some closing words are these, um, these ones by Thich Nhat Han that Pat shared with me. Um, and I will put them into the chat for us. Um, and thank you, Pat, for finding them. Certainly in many Asian traditions, there is an association and practice of mindfulness with drinking tea. He says, something as simple and ordinary as drinking a cup of tea can bring us great joy and help us feel our connection to the earth. The way we drink our tea can transform our lives if we truly devote our attention to it. Sometimes we hurry through our daily tasks, looking forward to the time when we can stop and have a cup of tea. But then when we're finally sitting with the cup of tea in our hands, our mind is still running off into the future and we can't enjoy what we're doing. We lose the pleasure of drinking our tea. We need to keep our awareness alive and value each moment of our daily life. We may think our other tasks are less pleasant than drinking tea, but if we do them with awareness, we may find that they're actually very enjoyable. Drinking a cup of tea is a pleasure we can give ourselves every day. To enjoy our tea, we have to be fully present and know clearly and deeply that we are drinking tea. When you lift your cup, you may like to breathe in the aroma. Looking deeply into your tea, you see that you are drinking fragrant plants that are the gift of Mother Earth. You see the labor of the tea pickers, 
You see the luscious tea fields and plantations in Sri Lanka, China, and Vietnam. You know that you are drinking a cloud. You are drinking the rain. The tea contains the whole universe. Thank you for being here, for beginning your day with us.